Yo, 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 what is up, y'all? It's me, JP, back at again with another video. And today, we're gonna be reviewing The Batman, the movie that just came out. So, before I get into it, um, obviously, I'm back again for another video. Um, I hope y'all don't mind my scattered video upload schedule. I kind of am doing it where I upload a video when I watch a new movie in theaters. So my next video will probably be a review of Moon Knight Episode 1 when that comes out March 30th. So get ready for that. So um, Batman, right. Uh, Non-spoiler review first, obviously. So I think it's great. Definitely worth a watch. 9 out of 10 worth the three hours used to pass them before that's my non-spoiler review spoilers coming up now spoilers 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 spoiler warning i'm gonna give you five seconds to leave five four you're too slow okay batman i really like the movie like i love the dark darker tone they gave it um the spacing of the three hours was great i love the batman arc that they gave him he actually had growth and um i love the detective him actually doing a detective being the world's greatest detective following riddler's clues i love that arc i love this relationship with jim gordon their chemistry was really good i love his relationship with um catwoman too i their chemistry was great i just thought each character paired perfectly together the penguin was funny for me i really liked his character um the mob bosses capone was i i like them added characters just to show how corrupt gotham really was and the riddler was an amazing villain like i really liked his mysteriousness and how you he only really showed up to at the end of the movie so you had to at the start and the end of the movie so you had to you know, kind of just trying to find him you know and i really like that part of it and um i love the the flooding scenes with the bombs blowing up that gotham sinking that was a cool added touch to it and riddler's plan made sense i love the conspiracy series with thomas wayne too alfred was a good character i thought he was gonna die for a second but good he's back i love bruce's and, and alfred's relationship too oh really i really like that their relationship as like Bruce accepting that Alfred was a great father figure and so um what else can I talk about um I can't wait for more sequels and the spin-off shows I hear they're making spin-offs and, and sequels and I I cannot wait for that and um I love the ending scene with the Joker showing up oh that is that was great that, that was really nice added touch you know I think he was the actor that was in Eternals who played Druig, I think that was him. I don't know exactly, but I think that was him. So overall, I am really excited and I cannot wait for more projects on this Batman universe. Matt Reeves directed it perfectly. I really love the movie. Definitely recommend 9 out of 10. So this is a shorter review, but it's all I had to say. I don't really have anything bad about it. I really liked it. So, make sure you hit the like button. Um, I can't see the dislike button. Well, I can, but you can't. So, maybe just don't hit it, you know? Don't have to be. <laughs> hit that like button and subscribe. Um, I hope you all can stand this scat scattered, scattered like schedule, upload schedule. Because I kind of upload a video whenever a new project that comes out that I record it and review. If you want me to add more content, like, tell me if you want to see, like, um, me covering new news about movies and TV shows. Tell me if you want to see that, or more ranking videos. Kind of give me suggestions of what you want to see. But if not, then I'll see you guys when Moon Knight comes out. So, again, hit the like button, subscribe, and JP signing off. Peace!